Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. The Pandora Papers have been leaked. Now, if you don't know what the Pandora Papers are, I'm sure you remember the Panama Papers, where a bunch of leaked documents from a law firm exposed the secret financial industries of offshore tax havens. And this exposed A-list celebrities like Lionel Messi and people like David Cameron's father and the prime minister of Iceland. And now the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists is back at it again with what they call the Pandora Papers. And they call the Pandora Papers because it's like a Pandora's box because they have evidence of leaked documents on over 330 A-list celebrities, politicians, both current and former. And these papers are already starting to wreak havoc internationally. And what I personally find the most interesting about these documents is that the ICIJ is choosing when to release what documents. So right now they've only released a few documents. These documents have already exposed people like the current Kenya president, the Czech prime minister, Vladimir Putin's mistress, and the prime minister of Pakistan. And these documents show the hidden assets and wealth of these very high profile individuals that they have hidden and concealed from the public and the people that they are meant to be serving. And this is a huge problem. Now, don't get me wrong, I think there's a very good use case for businesses to use companies that are located in different countries, not necessarily as a form of tax shelter, but as a form of ways to reduce their liability and ways to do things that they can in the current countries that they operate in. But where this secret financial industry has a problem is when it's the politicians and world leaders that run on platforms of anti-corruption and taxing the rich and making equality, but then they take the money that they are given from the taxpayers, go and put them in offshore companies and then buy themselves, their friends and their family, villas, yachts, and expensive real estate across the world. That's where the problem really lies. Let's start off with the current Czech prime minister, Andrei Babis. Now, Andre Babis is known as a populist who rallies against the elite and the establishment, yet he himself is already a billionaire and he has taken money into offshore companies and then has bought himself a $24 million villa in France that he did not disclose on his public assets as a prime minister. This is a problem, a big problem. Now, in my opinion, I don't know the legalities around this stuff, especially in other countries, but just on the basis that you are supposed to publicly disclose your assets and you do not, and those assets that you do not disclose happen to be going through tax sheltered companies that are actually in your name to avoid disclosing those assets on the country that you live in, that's a huge problem, especially for the leader of that country. And the Pandora Papers are exposing a lot of celebrities too. Shakira did it, Julio Iglesias did it, Claudia Schiffer, and cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar, which I don't think I'm pronouncing that name right, I apologize. All of these celebrities are setting up offshore companies in places like the British Virgin Islands, where tax rates are very low, if not zero, and their identities and secrecy is hidden from people wanting to investigate into those companies. But the real secret lies in how did these investigative journalists get a hold of these leaked documents? How'd they get this evidence? And that I don't know the answer to yet. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be coming out with more information on the Pandora Papers as we get to know more and more about this. Because the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists is choosing when and what to release. So I expect that there's gonna be a lot more celebrities, a lot more politicians exposed in the coming weeks, maybe months from the Pandora Papers. And I also expect that there's gonna be more information into where these documents came from whether it was leaked through employees or whether there was any sort of um, technology failure from major companies, we are yet to find out. This is Money with Mark, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Pandora Papers. Peace.